bits to go. Alrighty, so I'm Jackson Helenia, and for my project, I wanted to find the length of a fish. Alrighty, so um, for background, uh, being able to uh, model and predict fish growth has been extremely important to fisheries scientists for many years. Uh, however, being able to accurately model uh, fish growth was not possible until 1934 when Austrian biologist Ludwig von Bertalanffy published the von Bertalanffy growth equation. And on the right, you can see there's a picture of him. And right here's his equation that he gave. Um, and there are many revised equations out there today. However, we'll just be looking at this one because it's the most popular and widely used. Alrighty, so finding the equation. So this is what he gave us, but we have to de uh, derive it or integrate it um, because the DL or DT or whatever. And so first what we want to do is uh, distribute the K over, distribute it to both sides or both parts. Uh, next thing we move the KL onto the other side with the DL, DT. And next thing, there's a special thing we haven't learned and we won't learn in this class. It'll be in a couple of future math classes that you might come across it. And it's called finding the integrating factor. And uh, this was a really difficult part because I didn't really understand this. And I mean, it was for a good reason because we haven't learned about it yet. And so what you essentially do is if you have this equation set up literally just like that, um, what you could do is say uh, e to the integral of whatever that thing is right there, like the k's, and then you say dt because the dt is right there. And so what we do is integrate the k dt or whatever, and so you're left with e to the kt. And what you do with that is distribute that to everything on both sides of the equation. All right, so uh, next thing we do is we want to integrate it now. And so there's a sneaky thing. If you look at the left side of the equation, uh, you can just integrate both parts. But if you look really closely, it's actually like a reverse product rule. And so essentially you can just rewrite it as LE to the KT um, prime, I guess, because yeah. And then you integrate both sides, obviously. And so next, uh, the prime and the integral cancel out that and you just integrate that. And you have to put a plus C because you just integrated. And then after that, um, we're trying to put L by itself because that gives us the length of the fish at a specific time. And so what we do is we move the E to the KT to the other side of the equation. And the next thing we do is uh, distribute that one over e to the kt to everything else, you know, in the parentheses. And then after that, we want to find c because we can't use c for our final product, whatever. So uh, we set l is to zero, or we find l is zero. And um, when you solve that, you get c is equal to l zero minus l of infinity. And so you just plug that back in right there. All right, and then we take out a negative one just to make it look a little bit nicer, in my opinion. And so we're left with this final equation where T is equal to the age, K is the growth coefficient or the growth rate of that fish. Um, L zero is the length of the fish right when it was born. And then L of infinity is the longest length that fish could ever really be. Alrighty, so for an example, um, let's say most sharks can only grow to be around three meters and that they grow around 10 centimeters a year. Uh, if it was born at a size of half a meter, what is the size of the shark at eight at an age of eight years old? All right, so first what we do is we have that equation that we just found. Um, and it's pretty simple at this. We just plug it in and uh, you find you, you just really just plug it in. Pretty simple. Um, and so you find out at uh, age eight, your shark will probably be around 1.89 meters uh, long. And so that isn't guaranteed, but most likely that's a really close estimate of what the shark would be. And so I made a little graph here showing at any age what the shark would probably be. Um, and so, yeah, therefore the shark will be 1.89 meters at the age of eight. Alrighty, so for conclusion, before starting this project, I never realized how many factors go into determining the length of a fish at a given time. Um, I also never knew how much work, uh, how much time, work and effort was put into creating and revising this equation. On top of that, I learned that little special method um, that can be used to help solve differential equations. And then with the use of modeling fish growth uh, rapidly increasing in this day and age, there's more of a reason to share why this is such an important topic. Uh, overall, I found the von Bertalanffy growth equation quite fascinating and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching and here's the website.